Hey guys, in this video we are going to be taking a look at a new product called VidCloud by Mario Brown and Marsh Barry. So make sure to keep watching the whole way through the video and I'm quickly going to go over the sales page and just to give you an idea of what the software actually does and what it's about. And then we will quickly dive into the members area and I'll just show you around some of the tools and the features within the platform to show you whether it may be a viable option for you if you're really wanting to use this as a platform to get started with helping to build your business, creating content and helping you to promote your ideas out to your audience. So if you're new here and you find content like this here to be helpful, make sure to leave a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be updated whenever I release future content and also share the video as I do be creating a lot of videos like this here showing you ways of how you can actually earn a living and start your own online business but also showing you avenues that you can take and what you should avoid if you are serious about building a business online. So what is the VidCloud platform? It is actually a platform that's pretty much an all-in-one tool set that allows you to use video as a means to market to your audience to help build authority and to potentially make sales further down the line so with this being an all-in-one platform it allows you to create and post your own videos while also being able to market and promote your content out to your audiences all within the one platform so when you go through here the sales page again it gives you a lot of information about what the platform is actually about they do have demo videos actually explaining exactly what the actual platform and the software actually does we will be diving into the members area shortly and I'll show you around it and you can see what it actually does so as you go through the page it gets it gives you it breaks it down into different criteria based off what is involved in the platform essentially it isn't just a video editing platform you can also host your own videos and you can also use it supposedly as a platform to create your own marketing agency if you want to to be able to actually use the videos that you have as ways of promoting to your respective audiences that you can create different income streams and so forth so it does say that because of the fact is they use their own hosting platform that you don't have to deal with the likes of the limitations of other online platforms the likes of Vimeo and even likes of YouTube with the likes of ads and you have certain restrictions so apparently this here platform is supposed to allow you to walk around that or to eliminate that so you can just focus on what it is that you need to do without any outside interferences. Now as of recording this video this actual page itself is still in development so not all of it is actually finished there are some testimonials and some information that has been left out and is still to be put in but I'm sure it'll be updated closer to the launch date so it does give you a breakdown of what the actual platform does you can upload your video you can customize certain elements and then you can host the video the one thing I will note is that you can't use this as an actual means to actually edit your videos you will still need to have a separate program to be able to edit your videos but what this will do it'll be similar to the likes of you YouTube where you can upload your videos onto this platform and then you can customize it and add different elements you can schedule the videos out this one here now actually has a couple of unique features in it that we'll get into in the video itself that actually a lot of platforms actually don't have so it, it in itself it there is some neat little feature in here but whether or not this can be a useful tool to really take your business full-time and even to think long term with it that remains to be seen but again you can feel free to actually have a look at it and see what you actually think for yourself and we're going to dive into the members area now in a second and I'm just going to give you an overview of some of the tools so again as you go through the page it does give you a lot of breakdowns as to what is actually involved in the platform but you'll be able to figure it out once you get into it as well so as you go down the page it does break it down with the likes of different types of pricing fees and comparisons so with vidcloud it is a one-time payment so you don't have to pay any like monthly fees like you do with other platforms so it does allow you to take out that headache of having to actually worry about money the one thing i will say about a one-time payment platform yeah like it, it actually the software does actually work as i'll show you now in a second the downside with, is with it with a lot of platforms like this here because they're a one-time payment you have to really ask yourself a question are you still going to be able to use this platform six or twelve months down the line 
because a lot of these type of platforms and even though this one actually does actually work there is a big issue with a lot of platforms for one time payment because they're not being maintained they're not being updated regularly so if you're only paying a one time fee there's no guarantees and there's no guarantee here really that you're going to get lifetime updates to the, for the lifetime of the software so you really do need to take it with a pinch of salt when you're going to look at it but again it does work as I will now show you in the members area but you just do need to be aware of it because the reason why a lot of these other hosting platforms do charge a monthly fee is because they're always being updated every single month they're always ironing out bugs and they're always trying to fix things and to try and improve and make the sites better this here we don't know for sure whether this is actually going to maintain that level of authority only time will tell but you need to make that decision for yourself so we'll just quickly dive into the members area and I'll quickly just show you around the platform and you can see for yourself so we are just now in the vidcloud members area and first impressions of the platform it's actually very nice very well laid out very well structured really good use of the likes of colors that really suits the kind of aesthetic and style of the software so you're instantly greeted with a load of different customization templates based off different types of elements that you want to get set up like landing page and stuff it actually has a lot of everything that's the funny thing about it it's not just video related it allows you to also set up the likes of pages where you can embed your videos if you're trying to do like a sales page or if you want to have some sort of sales pitch or if you're doing like say customization for like affiliate campaigns and so forth it actually does have a lot of really cool stuff actually in here to look at and it's very pleasing very simple on the eye it's very well laid out looks very professional so you do have access on the left hand side to different types of options and stuff that you actually can get started with again you've got the templates you can set up campaigns you have access to different playlists you also can integrate different storage features you can hook up your own autoresponders as well if you're using like your emails like get, get response a web or whatever service that you're actually using and they do have some additional extras as well that you can get involved with so here we can just take a quick look at one of the actual templates and just see what they actually look like so when you come into a template page you come into the editor here you can change the template name you can set the specific URL for the actual page as well plus allows you to have access to download images from the likes of free to use platforms like of Unsplash, Pixabay and so forth which is actually really cool you can add in your own text you can edit pretty much everything that's here you can change the colors you can add in different social and share links as well you can add in the contact form and then here it does allow you to integrate your autoresponders as well to be honest actually from looking at this here it is very streamlined it actually has pretty much everything here that you would need to actually get started but whether this could be actually a thing that will work long term still it's early to tell but the early signs of this actually aren't too bad it actually has everything here that you need like if you want to customize certain things and you have everything here literally on the one page without you having to back out and go through jump through hoops basically trying to figure out what to do next pretty much everything is here and you just follow the whole process all the way down to the bottom of the page which is actually quite neat and actually does make it look like as if that'll be easy to use so here you can actually set up your own campaigns if you're having like video tutorials or if you want to create some sort of campaign and create a landing page to set the campaign off you can do that here and here will actually save your campaign so you can add the campaign here you can just click on this button and again you go through the entire campaign and it'll go through the whole process you can upload the video you set the thumbnail set the overlay and then you can set up all the other elements and queries that you need to do to get started so just as an example of this we're just going to quickly just go into one of these here just to have a look and see how everything actually works so again yeah it just takes you literally through the process it pretty much helps to try and simplify it if you're an absolute beginner it definitely takes a lot of the hassle out of trying to figure out what to actually do next you literally just it gives you a process to follow you set it up like i said and you follow all these areas and you just keep going so you can upload the video if you do have a video uploaded you can set it up you can upload a thumbnail if you've already created one you can add it in here the really cool feature about this here is that it allows you to use certain portions of your video to set it up as like an animated gif image which is actually a really neat feature because one of the the problems with a lot of landing pages is they don't get a level enough level of engagement that they should get is because if you don't have like say an animated image playing where the video is or you don't have the video set to autoplay sometimes it's it's not easy for people that are browsing through the page to really know what's going on and you need to be able to capture their engagement within the first few seconds and if you can't do that they're more likely to bounce from the page and then you'll never see them again but if you 
something in the background of the page that's playing while they are browsing through the page that will actually inclinate to them that there's something going on and that they, it'll actually entice them to want to click on the video so this here is actually a really neat feature and I haven't really seen this too much really pretty much ever in most pieces of software usually you'd have to buy an external platform to be able to do this so actually having this in here is actually a neat little touch again you can set it to your own preference like if you want to have it like set up like say many seconds was a four seconds even up to 20 seconds or longer and you can just set it to play just continuously and then the only way it'll stop is when someone actually clicks on the video to actually play it but by something actually moving on the screen like I said it will actually entice people a lot more to want to see what's actually going on because it'll make them look like as if oh, there's something playing in the background I want to see what it is so that there now is actually a nice little touch so it is but again you nearly need to have to go elsewhere to be able to use different types of software to integrate into your video players so that you can actually allow the videos to play automatically when the page loads but even having like an animated gif that you can set the preferences on it actually will equally be as good and will definitely help to increase engagement so this is actually a nice little touch now so here you can change the transparency of your titles you can set the, the animations the play buttons to have like different animations on the screen again this here also helps increase engagement because when people see things moving it's likely to catch the right so by having something like that they are actually is pretty cool and again you can change different type of elements that it actually has so that's actually pretty cool so you can even have different types of button styles as well so you can, it automatically changes live this is actually decent it actually does work really well and it looks like it's very simple to, to use as well so I have no complaints with it there so here you can set up your meta tags and your keywords and your titles this here will actually help you to get your content to rank basically so if you have descriptions based off the page you can do that here this will actually help you to show up in search engines like so Google and so forth so you want to make sure that you do have a unique title that's keyword rich and again you can put in your keywords here and you want to make sure that you have your keywords within your description as well this will actually also help give you better chance to rank again I've done previous videos on showing you how to use different types of keywords so that you can rank your content online I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description so you can go and check it out so also here you can actually set up tracking codes so you can if you have any knowledge of script and like you like to use in JavaScript or HTML and you have any code that you can copy from say your website or whatever or you can actually paste it in here as well so again you can set up your templates you can use whatever templates are available based off different categories like name demo review and even of other ones if you've actually done or created your own templates as well so again your campaign then will be actually added onto the dashboard so you can come in at any time you can copy it you can add the links if you want to remove it you can so you even do have access even to training videos as well so at the moment they only have access really to kind of like some small videos again this will probably be updated or you'd assume that it'll be updated at a later stage that we go more in depth into the software and actually show you what's going on but all this video really does at the minute just shows you a quick demo of the software showing you how to use all the features and that so here you can add in like playlists if you've like loads of different videos you want to add into a playlist you can add them all in here so you can just click on that button and then you can set up your own playlist titles and so forth so that you can add them in so you can have them all here in one place so here you can set up different types of storage as well so they have access so far to three different categories you give default server space you can connect to Amazon S3 account and actually I've never heard of that so I didn't even know that that was a thing but if it is if you can use it all the better and then obviously if you've Dropbox as well so you can sign up for a free Dropbox account now you will be limited to terms of the storage size that you actually have for using the free account but it still might be enough to actually get you started so you get opt in to using that as well so you just select this and then click on save and then you should be good to go so that way then you can store your content so here this is like similar like some to some of the other areas within the software that you can add in your autoresponder if you use Aweb or whatever type of platform you use you can add them in here as well so you can connect your email lists and that to them as well so you can start capturing leads so it's be pretty straightforward to do that anyway so here you can actually store your emails if you have a list as well so you can export them to a CSV so that you can bring them into your autoresponder as well so whatever emails you capture you can store them here as well so then obviously then you've got access this would be one of the OTOs I'd imagine where you have an agency upgrade so again this will access different levels of and remove different restrictions so you'll have access to be able to do a lot more within the software so that will only be for preferences with the likes of this area here so you can obviously even add in 
between different users as well so you can probably set different criteria based off the level of usage a certain user has or they have certain limits on what they can access and so forth within the software if you're allowing someone else to help you actually implement some of your content and do the work and stuff for you so all in all from this software like it actually is fairly streamlined it's fairly simple and seems to be easy enough to use a beginner could actually use this it does a lot of the stuff for you again you still will need to do some form of editing you still will need to add in your own content to your pages add in your own images you can use the stuff that's here but again you still want to make it your own and as for the videos you'll still need to record and somewhat edit your own videos what will happen is here is when you upload your videos to the platform then you can add in the additional extras you can create those animated gifs so you can add in specific animations or play buttons to get people to click on the buttons but you need to already have the videos done beforehand all in all this actually looks like a neat little tool and for the front end price it is what it is it's simple it's effective how long the support will actually last for something like this you'd like to think that it would actually be available for a good while but only time will tell but you could try it and just see what you think for yourself like there are other alternatives on the internet if you especially if you want to have more in depth and want to have more control over certain things then you can use them but if you just want something that's just kind of just simple and you just want to play around with it and just see what it's like then you can definitely have a look at this and see what you think so here we're just going to take a quick look at the funnel and the upgrades for the software if you decide to opt in so again with the front end price you get pretty much the majority of all the tools as I've shown in the members area of what you can actually get and there is actually a decent amount of tools there and it does actually work and some of it actually works quite well but then you go into the upgrades and the first upgrade is the unlimited version which is $37 so it removes the watermark logo so you can have more customization features and unlimited options so then the second upgrade is the pro version which is 67 again it unlocks even more features more templates and you pretty much get the picture it unlocks pretty much a lot more so then you have the third upgrade which is the marketing kit so everything you need to start and run a successful video agency so it pretty much gives you all the contracts and information and pretty much the files and everything that you need if you really want to use it as an actual way to actually create a business out of it and then the fourth upgrade is the white label rights so this gives you the ability to brand it as your own platform you can use it then to pretty much use it as your own software if you want to do that so that you can make commissions and all that stuff as well like if you want to do that so again there that's the pretty much the funnel there again it does beg the question exactly for the money that you're actually going to be spending which it is a lot even though it's not like crazy expensive in some cases now the white label rights i'm not too sure of but a lot of these here usually do charge that price anyway but you have to ask yourself are you actually going to get everything you need for the money that you're paying because again even though it is actually to be honest it is actually a lot of money like there's at least over 300 nearly 400 dollars worth of upgrade here and you do really have to ask yourself a question is this actually going to be a viable option for you to really kind of build a business online and the thing is even with a lot of this stuff that's actually here you really can just use YouTube to be able to do that you can pretty much build an entire business just with YouTube alone and YouTube is free it doesn't cost you anything it does only cost you like money in terms of the likes of say video editing software and the likes of if you if you need a page builder because again you need to be able to build landing pages to be able to capture emails you will also need to pay for an autoresponder but again you can use you can start off with the likes of Aweber because Aweber does a free version where you can capture up to 500 emails before you have to pay so you can use that to actually get started so you can literally get started technically for free if you want to do that so it's it's totally up to yourself now if you have a limited budget the one thing I would say is you may be best to maybe stay away from the likes of these here and just have a look at the front end price if you are eager to buy some have a look at it and play around it and see if you can actually use it and then you can make an informed decision but for the moment I would definitely hold off and not jump in straight away and buy all this stuff because you need to have more information you need to have a better understanding as to what is actually going to be involved if you decide to pay this money and again you will also need the right training and the right background and the right kind of proven path to follow to be able to actually build a business online because that's one of the things a lot of these platforms do not teach you is they don't actually teach you step by step actually how to do this stuff they give you the means to do it in some in a lot of cases but they don't actually show you how to do it but if you are looking for a proven and simple process to teach you step by step how to build your online business check out the first link in the description to a proven training program that i actually use myself that actually has helped me to build my online business and i'm getting results from it and you will actually see results from it yourself so again check out the link below
below to find out more. So if you have found this video to be useful, please be sure to leave a like. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to be updated whenever I release future content and also feel free to share the video as I will be creating a lot more videos like this here to actually teach and help you of ways that you can get started online and show you avenues that you should focus on and what you should avoid if you're really serious about growing your online business. And as always, I will see you in the next one.